All right, guys, welcome to part one of what I've done to my garage, garage makeover. Uh, let's take a look before we open the door. Let's take a look and see what we looked like at the beginning of the year. So now you know what it looked like at the beginning of the 2020 setup. That was the video. So now we're going to open the garage and we're going to show you what I have done since then. We're going to talk about some things that uh, I have still yet to do, but are going to do within the next month or so uh, as well. So let's open the garage and hope you enjoy. still echoey in here of course I got the garage doors and everything shut but uh, what we what I did was uh, we painted painted the wall painted the trim black so we got everything painted from that old sand color or whatever I went and I bought some shelving and I bought a wood top for the cabinets uh, and then I've got all of my detail stuff pretty much in here and I've got a lot of my detail stuff in these as well. But uh, these are soft clothes, um, so you can open them up and uh, close them and literally just let them go. They will soft close right back together. All lockable, uh, four cabinets total. Well, we got the tall cabinet, then two smaller cabinets up here that are hanging. And then we got two lower cabinets and then I've got a butcher block uh, four foot that I set on top of this instead of connecting two. So uh, that was the last project was cleaning all of this out, getting this garage completely opened up. Uh, so I got a shed, put a lot of stuff that I had in here in the shed. So now I've got all this extra room and it's just totally awesome. So let's move over to the other wall. All right, so here, what I did was literally painted. Once again, everything got painted. Uh, once we get to the shelves, we'll show you that as well. So I took some uh, pegboard. This is a flag I won at GIE last year, 2019. Uh, so I put it up here. Uh, I got a sign, Lanier's Garage, my tool rules, uh, Shane at DLT. Thank you very much, man. That thing, <laughs> love it. Love the garage decor. So then we've got our little collection of tools and stuff. So I went to Home Depot and I bought these, uh, these um, pads of, they're, they're plastic pads, but they hold a bunch of weight. And I forget the price of them, but uh, I went through and I, I put them on the wall and then I bought pegs and tool holders and stuff to hold the majority of my hand tools, my maintenance kits, some of my chains and stuff. Uh, but that's what this was for. Then we've got the Husky workbench here. That I ended up getting because it raises, lowers. I can move it around on wheels. Uh, I can put whatever I'm doing or reviewing or talking about right here in front of me while the TV's in the background showing more information of the product or you know whatever. Uh, the case may be so that's why I ended up getting that then I ended up selling the toolbox uh, so the old toolbox I had show you a picture of that here uh, we ended up getting rid of that <coughs> so I ended up uh, so I ended up running a Lorex 4k system uh, 6 4k real-time uh, night vision colored night vision like I mean the thing is 
the, the works, I guess you could say. So we've got it coming into the garage to where you can put it on the 55 inch if you wanted to, uh, but it's also uh, connected outside as well. So I've got the inside server, then I've got a, a dedicated outside that it reports to also um, off-site. So if something was to happen, the house was to burn down, something like that, I can still get that storage and see if anything was to happen, if you know that was the case. Uh, I got this light strip at Home Depot, the power strip plus the lights. So, uh, so you've got 500 lumen lights on it. You can tilt these up and down. So you can put the uh, oh, that's my remote. So you can put the light where it needs to be, where it needs to go, things of that nature. Then we ended up, uh, I ended up getting the Husky 72 inch tool chest with. Uh, the stainless steel top and I kept the, the plastic on it because I know how hard it is to get that stainless steel clean So I just left the plastic on because it really Didn't look bad with it on there anyway So then we moved all of the tools and pretty much everything into these drawers and got everything straightened up Y'all probably can't even see this uh, But moved all the tools into it. So I got my my power tools down here like my DeWalt uh, 60 volt saw I bought uh, palm sander, uh, chargers, I mean just all the stuff that wouldn't fit on the wall pretty much is down here along with all my hand tools, my lights, everything. So then uh, I ended up painting these shelves black with red tops uh, because Toro was black and red, the Echo was the orangish and black uh, and by the time I got done with everything, the black and orange pretty much matched everything in my garage or the black and red uh, pretty much matched everything in my garage so i just went with the black and red on the shelves this is pretty much just my top shelf pretty organized um, up top i've got my pole saw and stuff of that i got uh, i built this battery stand and so I, I keep all my batteries on it except for what all is in all these tools uh, then down below we got the dewalt air compressor that i bought the Milwaukee one, all kinds of stuff here going on. Nothing's really changed on this wall except for the paint and some of the items on the wall. Uh, we still got the signage, everything like that. So everything's still here. Nothing's really changed on the wall. But right here, within the next month, um, over the winter I was using a uh, ready heat kerosene um, forced air heater to heat the garage and during the summer it gets pretty hot in here so uh, within the next month I'm looking at getting a mini split if you don't want a mini split is it's a it's a one of the mounted wall mounts here and then it runs outside to your actual unit um, but it'll give me heat and AC in the garage. So that's pretty much everything that's happened. So if you have any questions of what I did, why I did it, how I did it, I don't know, uh, then feel free to comment down below. If not, let me know what you think of the new garage setup. Um, this is what I've been doing over the past several months since the 2020 setup is I've been wanting to get more organized. And uh, so this was, this was it. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys, and we will see you in the next one.